In this video, we're going to use Bolt to trigger animations. We'll also build in some mouse interactivity with the events on mouse down and on mouse over. In the next video, we'll cover playing around with random colors. Okay, let's dive in. I have an object from Blender, a torus, and it has an animation on it. The animation is called Ring Glow, and if you don't know how to make animations in Unity, I would suggest to check out one of the non-Bolt tutorial videos I have up. The animation, as you can see, is on the emission of this material. The glow fades in, and then it fades out. For comparison, if we wanted to have this animation play on trigger in C sharp, this is what it would look like. On trigger enter, we want the animation to play, and then we write out exactly what animation should play. I have a string unit on my bolt graph, but that's not necessary. You can just write it on the animation play unit. So let's test it. And you can see in the animator that it plays the animation and then goes back to empty. Okay, so that's really simple. Two units to play an animation on trigger. So with that done, let's move on to some mouse interactivity. I'm going to click on Ball Maker, which has our state machine. We last left off with instantiating a ball and then giving it a random torque. So I have a start of the final graph here that I'd like you to copy first. So when we click on this cube, the variable for the wait time between balls will change to 0.1 seconds. It will stay there at 0.1 seconds, so I've added a on mouse up to change the variable back to one second. Once you have that together, we can look at the final graph. On mouse over is great for indicating that you can interact with something. So I have a mouse over pulsing glow animation. When we click, I want this pulsing glow animation to stop and then this really intense glow animation to start. To make that happen, I've made a graph variable that's a Boolean and I'm calling it mouse power. When mouse power is false, I just want the mouse over animation. When I click, mouse power becomes true, which turns off the flow to the mouse over animation. I'll quickly talk through the graph. We have our game object here, the cube. On mouse down, we want to set that variable mouse power to true. We also want to set the variable weight between balls to 0.1. Finally, we want to play the animation hyperglow power up. We haven't yet clicked for the balls to appear really fast. And because we haven't, it's going to play the mouse over animation. So it's false, and you can see that loop of it glowing. When we click down, mouse power becomes true, which stops the flow of the mouse over animation. That means our power up glow animation can play without the other one getting in the way. On mouse up, we set the mouse power variable back to false, which means the mouse over animation can play again. And then of course, we return back to one second for each ball instantiating. And here's both graphs of everything that we've gone through. Like I said, on the next video, we'll do random colors. See you guys there.